Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin price can't go sideways forever. The potential bad news and the one factor that has not been priced in. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the bad news and the chart that no one is considering. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed, same as it was yesterday, 48, but down significantly from last week and last month. The overall market up half a percent today. Bitcoin at 26, 845, Ethereum at 1804, BNB at 311, XRP 42 cents, Cardano 36 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Solana $21, and Polygon 85 cents. And the top coins today, based on AI like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto, would be BitGet Token, ARPA, Fief, Router Protocol, and TomoChain. And you can check out token metrics for yourself. Use AI for free. There is a link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today, continuing down this trend that we've had that started pretty much in the middle of April. Right now, some support levels. We did find support on this green line, the 100-day moving average. But I would suspect we might find stronger support on this blue line right here, which was actually resistance, the $25,000 resistance right there. We might find support down there around the end of May before bouncing back up. However, Bitcoin has had some pretty awesome news this week. 100 million whole corner addresses. That means 100, or excuse me, 1 million people own a whole Bitcoin and that's probably going to be about as many as there ever will be because it's getting more and more scarce as time goes on. But this week for Bitcoin, somewhat bad news on the technicals. We have a head and shoulders pattern right here, a breakdown from the neckline suggesting a $24,000 target for Bitcoin could be bad news. Pair that with this recession that just snuck up on us that nobody saw coming. Well, interesting chart. This takes a look at the current recession, which is this blue shaded line compared with all previous recessions that we've had before. Now, interesting to note, we are not nearly down as far as some of the very bad recessions, okay? But we are in line with where many of them pan out. The interesting thing to note, and I found this interesting, is that guess what? All of the recessions ended within one month to about 13 months. So, Worst case scenario, this recession is pretty close to over, maybe another year or so before we rebound. As a matter of fact, it may already be over if you want to counter trade Druckenmiller quotes. We had to take a look at his quotes here. Back here in 2013, he's saying the Fed exit would be a big deal for the markets and the markets went up. He says the U.S. stock bull market exhausting itself and the markets went up. He says risk reward in stocks is the worst he's ever seen and markets went up. And just recently, he once again said U.S. is on the brink of recession, sees hard landing. Could this send markets counter to what he's saying? Absolutely. Now, Bitcoin on a longer time frame. When in doubt, zoom out. If it rhymes, it's got to be true. So if we take a look, 10-year Bitcoin chart, these are the six-month candles. Well, take a look. Bitcoin does not fall below the 10 SMA on the six-month candles. As a matter of fact, had you been buying when Bitcoin was in candles touching that 10 SMA, you would have done exceptionally well in those six months periods when it was not touching those candles. So that being said, we are still touching the 10 SMA right now. Amazing time to stock up on Bitcoin because we just had this massive cross right here of the Tenkin Kijun cross in the Ichimoku system has only happened six times in history. And the smallest gains after it crossed was 134%. The largest gains after it crossed was 5,781%. So somewhere between there, that's where it could put Bitcoin price after this cross. That is a huge cross. Right now, though, Bitcoin price is moving sideways. Historically, there's been a few number of times when Bitcoin price has moved sideways, like we've been seeing recently. In Bitcoin's history, there aren't many examples, but the ones that do almost always precursor bull rallies. The one exception was during the bear market of 2018. And Bitcoin's not in a bear market. And this was basically just because people thought $6,000 was a price floor for mining Bitcoin. There's no way the price of Bitcoin could go below what it might, what it takes to mine Bitcoin. 
Once they found out it could, man, price fell off a cliff. But we're in a bull market now, and this could be the precursor to a large bull market for Bitcoin. Now, the bad news in the short term, it might go down first. Now, that could be good news for those who want to buy the dip. But once the dip comes, everybody's going to be screaming the sky is falling and nobody's going to be buying. Now, based on this, two scenarios for where Bitcoin could go based on support levels, we have both a $24,000 and a $25,000 case for Bitcoin. If you want to make sure to scoop some up, you better have your buy orders placed above $25,000. If you're super stingy and want to get the absolute rock bottom price, maybe $24,000 or maybe $10,000 like everybody is still saying it could happen. But here's the chart that no one seems to be considering. Very interesting chart from Trader Tardigrade here. When we match Bitcoin to the U.S. CPI year on year, it's very clear that obvious drops circled here in red cause Bitcoin to shoot up drastically. We can see when there are significant drops, Bitcoin price shoots up drastically just after those drops happen. If we take a look right here, we have a very significant drop in CPI, and yet Bitcoin has not started to move. Is this priced in? Probably not. So it could be an opportunity for those people looking for opportunities. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.